Can I ask you a very direct question, Tim? Of that oath, and I, I remember, I think um, Jason Robinson on the show he did with us said there'd only been one meetup of that oath three squad in the 17 years since, which I found utterly extraordinary, particularly given what you've gone through, how valuable that support network might be. The, the, the player who was most open about the struggles off the back of that was, was Johnny. Were you as good a friend to Johnny as he needed it at the point when he needed it? Or, or often does it come down to whether the player will let you in? I didn't know the depths that he took him to. And I spoke to him all the time. I kicked with him all the time. And then when, when he finished, obviously we finished around the same time. We had a conversation back in July 2014 about it. But then jo- Johnny immediately gets moved on to something else. And he's, he is notoriously hard to get hold of. And we occasionally have a, have a conversation. When we do, it's a good conversation. But it's, uh, I would say, ultimately, it's, ne- it's never enough. He's famous for you. You ring him in January in 2019 you get a reply in January 2020 like it was 2019 you know it's just like no time has passed he's replying to your message and it's like well that was a year ago Johnny was something's changed since then but I think that it is down to a player's realization because you have enough shit going I mean if you're someone like Wilco and I I imagine everyone wants his time you you can get caught up in that but then that doesn't deal with the people that you have been to and he is right we've only had one get together since 2003 the 10-year reunion which is is ri- ridiculous and farcical from everyone's point of view, and that unfortunately sometimes is the way it is. And I don't think it's the right way. You know, if we got if I got asked on one tomorrow, I'd be there. You know, it, but then the questions come up of who drives it rather than the players just go. If you got five players, said right, I'm going to do a dinner here. I want all of you to come. Let's sit and see who turns up. But that, I think quite a few would turn up. Then there would definitely be some that wouldn't. Ben, I, I, don't, I don't mean this as a sort of a, a sharp question, but inevitably in the circumstances that you've been through over the last week, we're, we're sort of talking about Tins and Johnny. Do you find yourself asking yourself, you know, what if, should I have done more? Is that a, you know, it's a, it's a path no one wants to go down, but it's often a path you end up wandering down with reference to Christoph. Not individually, because it was more one dimensional, not one dimensional, one direction sort of relationship he gave me. I don't think I ever gave him anything. He was there to help me all the time. I tried to, but I couldn't. You know, there was that sort of distance from age and respect and hierarchy that um, I think I would feel out of place to text him, you know, to say, can I help you and stuff? But I did feel that collectively, like I think Mike is, 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 is spot on about the fact that, you know, I said about having the tools, that's professionals who give us the tools. But the support network is very important. And then a super important support network is by sort of extension, still need to be connected to your brotherhood of the club. You know, the, just even the word, the club, it just means a lot. It's like a sanctuary. It's a place where you can come and see each other and, and feel part of. You know, there's a lot of, of clubs where guys need to buy a ticket if they want to come in the stand. And then you're ashamed because you're like, oh, I'm, I look like an idiot if I go buy a ticket, you know. But at the same time, if they don't ask, give you one, you're not going to ask for it because otherwise you're going to look greedy. So whatever, it's, it's all this battle in between. So I didn't feel individually but i really felt that collectively we should have created an environment where anybody who leaves as long as they've shared the jersey and put a bit of blood in it with me then they need to be part of my extended environment definitely 